In the past, it felt like GAN refused to make stickerless cubes because they didn't look good or something like that, uh, which I sort of agree with. Stickers are annoying, but a nicely stickered cube with the black outlines is just a bit more aesthetically pleasing. With the GAN 354, they did a big reversal on this and they're only making it stickerless, uh, but it does come with a really unique stickerless design with contrasting solid black internals and visible magnet slots. Also, as you can tell from the name, it's 54 millimeters, which is smaller than the average speed cube. Out of the box, the raw turning capability of this cube just blew me away. It corner cuts without a problem from almost anywhere, and because of this, I definitely have the fastest E-perms on this cube out of any cube. Uh, yes, E-perms because lots of corner cutting. Still hate E-perms though. The new GES spring accessories come with fewer springs than in the past iterations of the GAN cubes, and here from strongest to weakest, we have yellow, green, blue, purple. This makes sense since people generally didn't really use red and orange anyway. And out of the box, we had the green springs in, but the cube felt too fast, so I switched to the stronger yellow springs. I'm not saying this cube needs the GTS 3 spring system, which I think is better, but I'll just say that I'm not 100% sure if yellow is the right spring choice, and I really don't want to go through the trouble of switching it again. Anyway, the feeling of this cube is similar to other GAN cubes. It feels really smooth on the inside, and it has a satisfyingly low pitch with very little friction. Although compared to previous GAN cubes like the SM, it's quite fast and quite a bit more flexible. So with that being said, here's my problem with this cube. On good solves I can do well, but very very often I make mistakes due to overshooting layers and random misalignment problems. So at first I thought this was due to the cube speed, but tightening it using yellow springs and slowing it down with lube didn't seem to help at all. So that made me think the problem might actually just be the size. I was really excited for the GAN 354 for two reasons. I loved the GAN Air SM, and I figured that if the 354 was an improvement, then that would be perfect. Also, I used a MoU Mini Along in the past as my main, and it's almost the same size. So because of that, I thought I would be unbiased because my hands aren't that big, and I had used smaller cubes for years. And I know in my brain that the GAN 354 is a really good cube in its speed, performance, magnet strength, it's all really great, but I can't put my fingers on the right spots when I turn it. I'm not 100% sure if it's the speed or the size, maybe a combination of both, but it is frustrating. So you might be thinking, hey, you use the GTS 3M. It has ridges and it feels even bigger than a normal speed cube. Uh, wouldn't it be weird to switch over to the GAN 354? And yes, that is true, but I can switch over to the Mini Aulong just fine, and it's only a half millimeter difference. So I don't really think that me being used to this cube is much of a factor in why I can't use it so well. I have this theory that with smaller cubes, you don't have to move your fingers as far. Well, obviously that's true, but I don't know if it really makes that big of a difference. And that's part of why I like the Mini Aulong. With some algorithms, I feel like I'm going faster with smaller cubes like the GAN 354, since my fingers don't have to do as much but I'm so inconsistent on this cube that the slight improvement in my turning speed doesn't really seem to help. And my theory about small cubes kind of extends in a bad way too. See, maybe the cube being so fast when combined with less distance for my fingers to travel makes me have to turn a lot more accurately, which I can't seem to do on this cube. Now, since this is a smaller cube, let's talk about one-handed solving. I prefer slower or average speed cubes rather than super fast cubes like this one for one hand. And uh, the size is nice, of course, but with one hand, I feel like there's a lot of variance in how much force you use to turn, depending on which finger and which way you're turning. So a fast cube is really sensitive to those slight differences, and that's why I don't think this one is right for me. So even though that's the end of the story for me, the GAN 354 is actually pretty popular. Some of its performance capabilities are so objectively good that I don't think you should pass it up just yet. A lot of people are using this as their main, and if you have smaller hands, or you don't mind fast cubes and strong magnets for one hand, then this is definitely worth a shot. And this is the part of the video where we say goodbye, and I say thanks to these lovely people on Patreon for giving me the opportunity to spend more time creating cubing content and slowly working towards an actual upload schedule. But also a special thanks to Speed Cube Shop for giving me the opportunity to review this cube. Use the code JPERM for a discount. And of course, thanks to you for watching this video. See you next time.